What's up everybody? This is Diego Bressler once again with Koch Chemi USA and I am bringing to you today some solvent problem solvers. Say that three times. So what do we use them for? When do we choose them? That's what we're going to go over a little bit with you today and just have some fun with what we do to solve problems. Uh, in one of my applications, we had a Jeep that had over 300 stickers that were attached on through their travels and so forth and so on. So what I did to use that, I used the OP very sparingly um, all over each individual sticker that was located on it. Now, obviously I peeled off the first part and then went through it bit by bit. Well, of course, I'm using protection with our gloves to make sure that we're safe and then also using eyewear made sure i was in a ventilated a well ventilated area and i dabbed a little bit on here and tried an area before i decided to go on to the rest of all the stickers and so forth and so on now stickers and also gum phenomenal for gum removal on any of the carpets that are inside your car or anywhere uh, again you want to pour this into it a little bit and go over it each area just a little bit at a time and it actually dissolves and undoes the gum itself so it doesn't just unstick it it actually will dissolve the gum which is pretty amazing when it comes to a solvent uh, working at its best now the next thing up we have is tear washer this is good for let's say any of the tree sap or tar that you have on your car again a little bit on your cloth and you go on to the area directly and it should take it off right away then you can go on a little bit more sparingly using a little bit more as you go along so we're going up in strength and the last one is our ulex now it is the strongest out of all three and you have to be careful when using any of these products on anything plastic you want to use it on paint and you want to maybe keep it away from anything like glass because you don't want anything streaking or uh, taking off any of the coatings that a glassware might have on there but really amazing it will pull off all the imperfections all the stuff that's added on there i wouldn't recommend it as a few people using it for let's say tires to to take off all the excess gunk that's on the tires it'll start pulling off a little bit of the rubber sealant that's on there in the long run so you got to be really careful about it but this will take care of all of the above and then some and so finally we're going to talk about the panel prep spray it is on a solvent baseline however it is what i use to take off all of the remaining compound uh, to show me what is left to do or if it's left at an ex excellent place for me to go ahead and put on a sealant, a ceramic coating or anything else. Again, I use a little bit onto the rag first, put it on in a certain area, then I can go ahead and spray. I want to make sure that I always test my spot with any and all of the chemicals that I use to ensure excellence. So make sure you go on to kcxusa.com and get what you need for your details.